really lucky where I happen to live. Uh, I live in this little pocket area that for some reason, now watch, as I say this, I'll jinx myself, uh, the snow is kind of skirted around us. Uh, the New Jersey shore got pummeled with, well, how much snow did they get, Aaron? Seven inches or so? Yeah, six, seven inches, and just north of us got it as well. But we got like two inches and we were done. This is the Bernini Collapsible Snow Shovel and Ice Chipper. It's a really smart device. You should always have a shovel in your automobile if you live in the snow belt. So this folds up. It's not made of plastic. It's made of steel. And when you get ice, a regular shovel, when you try to cut it up, you wind up just bending the edge of the shovel, which makes the shovel less effective. So the way they designed this, I'm gonna step out here in front of the camera if you don't mind. There's a locking mechanism right here that is beautiful, really sweet, okay? When you unlock this, now my entire handle can slide up and down. But if you look at the back of the shovel, there's my ice plunger. So now I've got even heavier, hardier steel that I can use to pound up that ice. Then I can lock this back into place and I've got a shovel with a fixed handle and now I can go ahead and get that snow out of there. Really a smart design. I get to introduce you to the representative of, of the family that created this. Uh, she does a lot of our lawn and garden. Spring is gonna be here in 70 days, Ginger. I think we'll make it. How you doing? I think we're gonna make it. I'm doing great. Nice to see you, honey. This has saved me because I have often used the side, like you probably have, to chip away the ice, and then your shovel just doesn't shovel the snow anymore, right? You need to have that ice chipper because that is the most important part when you want to get that snow off, but underneath you have that thin layer of ice that can make you slip and fall, and you want to be able to do that. So as you showed earlier, this is where it is locked into place and kind of hidden. And it, the fact that it all breaks down for me, Dan, is, is genius. But it's simple as that. Now you have that mechanism. And I love that the shovel, by the way, will protect your feet too as you're chipping right, away right. the Good ice. And, and it, break, it, it breaks down into several different pieces. So as you said, if you live in that area where you get a lot of snow, it's essential to really keep one in your car. We give you a nice bag. It's zippered, so it keeps all the pieces nice and secure. This is actually made out of a cold rolled galvanized steel. So it is completely durable. Just because it breaks down doesn't mean that you're getting anything less than a very durable shovel to be able to use out in um, your, your, your pathway. You may already have um, <clears throat> excuse me, a snowblower, but there's so many areas that you need to have a good shovel that will also get rid of that ice and use yeah. that ice chipper. Right? I've, got, I've got stone steps that lead up to my patio. Yes. I can't put my snowblower on that, nor would I. Uh, no, this thing, everything yeah. about right. this is beefed up. You know, I've seen a lot of plastic. I've seen a lot of shovels where just the gauge of the metal is so thin that the whole idea is that it's probably, if you're lucky, going to last you one season at best. Well, because this comes to us from Bernini, uh, we know that it was built to last. This has a full one-year warranty on it. And if you look at the edge, it's a nice, thick, added edge to it yes. so that it's going to be able to cut through that snow. That's a locking mechanism that allows you to come back with the ice chopper. How brilliant is that? And yet nobody had ever thought it's of brilliant. it before. Oh, I know, and that, that's actually me yeah. in the video. I, I am shoveling my front. We had a huge snowstorm, it was last year. I remember. And I was like, oh my goodness, I need this shovel. This It is really absolutely amazing. And a lot of times my shovel, it, it, <laughs> after you go through the summer and you're using all of your, your garden tools, your shovel gets lost in the back of your, of your um, garage. The fact that this breaks down and can be easily hung up is one less thing for me to be able to look for, but also taking it with me on trips yep. and having it, you know, right in my garage, uh, in my um, the trunk of my car, not taking up much real estate in the back of the trunk, but knowing that it's there and safe. That's one of the great things that I love too. Um, but that ice chipper, Dan, that is like 
that's what Bernini is known for, giving you something that is innovative, giving you something that's different, but also making sense. Like you look at it, you go, oh my gosh, yes, I get that. How many times growing up that we didn't have something like this and we used the corners of our of our shovel well, to break that ice because Ginger, it's right there in your hand. Yeah, right? my, my producer, Erin, asked that question. She goes, well, why? Because they really did beef this up. This is if you they look, did. these are pop. These are industrial pop rivets. So right. what they did is they use a much thicker edge here than they do here because they want to reduce the weight of the shovel in this area. But this is the business end of it. This is what actually is. you're running across your asphalt, your surfaces, your concrete. But that's still a relatively thin piece of steel compared to your ice chopper. Look how much thicker yes. that is. So and in, if you and use the end of the, sh the shovel, you're, yep. you're, you're going to bend it up. And when you do that, it is no longer effective because the whole idea is that you've got to be able to slide along your surface. That's why you've got the locking mechanism that you twist. Okay, and that now allows you to chop. Then you lock it back into, into position, which doesn't take much. And now that's fixed. And then you can go ahead and continue your shoveling. It really yeah. is probably one of the first innovations in a standard snow shovel in over a hundred years. Really the only thing that's changed is what they make them out of. Nowadays they make yeah. them out of plastic with an even thinner metal strip at the bottom which usually doesn't hold up either. No, that's true. This will be one that you'll use year and year after year. Yeah. And when someone first sees you chopping up ice with it, that's gonna catch their attention because that's what makes it so different and something that is so essential during this time of the year when you really need it and for safety reasons as well. And there's a nice blade that's on that. So it's going to really cut through those thick blocks of ice. Here, here's another reason to buy it. It's the goal that because you bought a snow shovel, it won't snow anymore. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. This is clear in sale price. That's actually a really nice substantial savings off what we were normally charging for. And I know it's more expensive than a regular shovel, but that's because it's a better shovel and it does the, the work better for you. It's got that ice breaker, again, right here on the back, and that adjusts so you can slam it down onto the ground. That's 45% off of what we were making this available at, at the beginning of our snow season. So clearance sale price when you need it most, saving you some money, getting the right tool for the right. job. Ginger, I can't wait to work with you in garden season, which we're gonna be Same kicking thing. off earlier this year than we've ever done before. 70 days until spring. Thank you, Dan. I've got a lot of